How to rename a Hyper-V virtual machine using PowerShell and Hyper-V Manager. Sometimes when you create a Hyper-V virtual machine, you may name it with a name that is not accurate or that you no longer wish to use. This article will provide three methods to rename a Hyper-V virtual machine so that it uses the name that you want. The easiest and quickest way to rename a Hyper-V virtual machine is to simply use the F2 function key on your keyboard while in the Hyper-V Manager. To do this, launch Hyper-V Manager by typing Hyper-V in the Start menu search field and then selecting Hyper-V Manager when it appears as shown below. When Hyper-V Manager is open, simply single left click on a VM that you wish to rename so that it becomes selected. Then press the F2 key on your keyboard and the virtual machine's name will become a field you can edit as shown below. Now type the new name that you wish to use for the virtual machine and when done, press enter on your keyboard. The virtual machine will now be using the new name. Launch Hyper-V Manager by typing Hyper-V in the Start menu search field and then selecting Hyper-V Manager when it appears as shown below. Once Hyper-V Manager opens. Find the VM that you wish to rename and right-click on it so that its context menu appears. As you can see from the image below, there is an option named Rename. If this is the VM you wish to rename, click on Rename. The VM's name will now become a field you can edit. Simply erase the current name and enter the new name that you wish to use. For those who wish to rename a Hyper-V virtual machine via the command line or through scripts, you can use PowerShell rename VM command to rename the machine. To rename a VM using PowerShell you can use the following steps. When PowerShell opens, you can get a list of install VMs by typing get VM and pressing the enter key on the keyboard. The get VM command will out a put of virtual machines and the names. To rename a VM, you need to use the rename VM command. This command takes two arguments the name of the VM to rename and then the new name you wish to rename it to. It is important to note that when using names that contain spaces, you need to put quotes around the name. For example, we are going to rename the Ubuntu virtual machine to Ubuntu renamed. To do this, we enter the command rename VM Ubuntu Ubuntu renamed and press enter on the keyboard. When PowerShell renames a virtual machine it will not display any output. To see if the VM has been renamed, you can issue the get VM command. As you can see the VM was renamed from Ubuntu to Ubuntu renamed. You can now type exit and press enter to exit PowerShell. Hyper-V is a virtual machine software solution that is included with Windows 10 Professional, Windows 10 Enterprise, and Windows Server that allows you to run multiple operating systems at once from within one instance of Windows. This tutorial will explain how to install Hyper-V in a supported version of Windows. CPU virtualization is a hardware feature found in all current AMD and Intel CPUs that allows a single processor to act as if it was multiple individual CPUs. This allows an operating system to more effectively and efficiently utilize the CPU power in the computer so that it runs faster. This feature is also a requirement for many virtual machine software and is required to be enabled in order. System Restore is a recovery feature in Windows 8 that allows you to restore your computer to a previous state. This is useful if your computer starts to function poorly or crashes and you cannot determine what the cause is. To resolve these types of issues, you can use System Restore to restore your computer back to a previous state that was saved before your problems started occurring. This will, this tutorial will explain how to open an elevated command prompt in Windows 10. You can use this command prompt to type commands that will be executed with administrative privileges. If you use a computer, read the newspaper, or watch the news, you will know about computer viruses or other malware. These are those malicious programs that once they infect your machine will start causing havoc on your computer. What many people do not know is that there are many different types of infections that are categorized in the general category of malware. The MDER Vulnerability Management, Detection and Response, Discover, Assess, Prioritize, and Patch Critical Vulnerabilities in Real Time and Across Your Global Hybrid IT Landscape All from a Single Solution. Text Source, BleepingComputer.com.